This video is here to help you with dividing decimals by integers. Remember, an integer is a whole number, and dividing decimals by integers is a really useful skill for everyday life. For example, imagine you use a recipe that asks for 4.8 kilograms of flour to be divided into four equal portions. To do this, you would need to divide 4.8 by four. To find the answer to this calculation, we can use our knowledge of place value and related facts. Firstly, let's imagine we have 48 kilograms of flour and we want to divide it into four equal portions. We can use this division calculation to represent the problem, 48 divided by four. We know that 48 divided by four equals 12. In our original problem, we needed to divide 4.8 kilograms of flour by four using the division calculation 4.8 divided by four. How is this calculation similar to the division calculation we just solved, 48 divided by four? When we put the calculation 4.8 divided by four equals 1.2, Alongside the calculation, 48 divided by four equals 12. What do you notice? When the number being divided becomes 10 times smaller, then the answer also becomes 10 times smaller. So when 48 is made 10 times smaller to become 4.8, then the answer 12 is also made 10 times smaller and becomes 1.2. Could you use these facts to help you solve this division? 0.48 divided by four. Top tip, when the number being divided becomes 10 or 100 times smaller, then the answer also becomes 10 or 100 times smaller. So, because 48 divided by four equals 12, and 4.8 divided by four equals 1.2, that means 0.48 divided by four equals 0.12. Now it's time to use what you've just learned to solve the following calculations. Top tip, when the number being divided becomes 10 or 100 times smaller, then the answer also becomes 10 or 100 times smaller. Here are the answers. If 24 divided by four equals six, then 2.4 divided by four equals 0 0.6. If 18 divided by two equals nine, then 0 0.18 divided by two equals 0 0.09. As well as using mental strategies, we can also use practical resources to help us to find the answer when dividing decimals by integers. Let's look now at how we can use equipment to help us to check our answer to 4.8 divided by four. We will use a place value chart and a part whole model to find the answer. As we are dividing 4.8 by four, we need to split our place value chart into four groups. If we now divide the four ones from 4.8 into four equal groups in the place value chart, we can see that there is one in each group. So four divided by four equals one. Let's record that in a part of the part whole model. If we divide the eight tenths from 4.8 into four equal groups, we can see that there are two tenths in each group. So 0 0.8 divided by four equals 0 0.2. If we look at the answers in the parts of the part whole model, or in one of the equal groups in the place value chart, we can see that 4.8 divided by four equals 1.2. If you have place value counters in a place value chart, you could use them to check the answer to 0 0.48 divided by four. If you don't have the equipment, you could draw a part whole model to show your answer. How did you get on? Let's check how we can use a place value chart and part whole model to find the answer to 0 0.48 divided by four. Firstly, we have no ones in 0 0.48, so there are no ones counters to divide equally into groups. When we divide the four tenths from 0 0.48 into four equal groups, we have one tenth in each group. And when eight hundredths from 0 0.48 are divided into four equal groups, we have two hundredths in each equal group. So the final answer is 0 0.12. Now let's take a look at how we might use this method to solve a shopping problem. When I was shopping, I picked up three large cartons of strawberries, which cost me £9.36 altogether. How much did one of the cartons cost? Well, for us to find out how much each carton of strawberries costs, we would need to divide the total cost by the number of cartons. In this case, £9.36 divided by three. Let's write down our division calculation, which we need to use. 9.36 divided by three. 
This time, we will also use the short division method alongside the place value chart and part whole model. We will need to put the dividend, 9.36, here, and the divisor, 3, here. Let's start by seeing if we can divide the place value counters representing 9.36 into three equal groups. If we divide the nine ones into three equal groups in the place value chart, we can see that there are three ones in each group. So nine divided by three equals three. We can record the three above the nine in the short division method as there are three ones. If we divide the three tenths into three equal groups, we can see that there is one tenth in each group. So 0 0.3 divided by three equals 0 0.1. We can record one above the three tenths in the short division method, as there is one tenth in each group. If we divide the six hundredths into three equal groups, we can see that there are two hundredths in each group. So 0 0.06 divided by three equals 0 0.02. We can record a two above the six hundredths in the short division method, as there are two hundredths in each group. So if we look at the part whole model or one group in the place value chart, we can see that 9.36 divided by 3 equals 3.12. If we think back to our original problem, that means that one carton of strawberries costs £3.12, as £9.36 divided by 3 is £3.12. Very well done if you got that one right. Now it's time to take a look at another question. What is 9.28 divided by 4? Let's see if we can use the same strategy to find the answer. Let's start by dividing the place value counters representing 9.28 into four equal groups. When we try and divide the nine ones into four equal groups in the place value chart, we can see that there are two ones in each group, but there is one counter left over. The groups are not equal, so we need to make an exchange. We can exchange one one for 10 tenths. We now have 12 tenths altogether in that column. 12 tenths is recorded as 1.2 in the part whole model. If we look at the part whole model, you can see that now instead of partitioning 9.2 as 9 and 0 0.2, we've now flexibly partitioned the number as 8 and 1.2 to show the exchange that we've made. Now we have exchanged, we can find the answer to the division. So 8 divided by 4 equals 2. We can record a two above the nine in the short division method as there are two ones in each equal group. We can also write a small one here before the two to show that because we have exchanged, we now have 12 tenths instead of only two tenths. If we divide the 12 tenths into four equal groups, we can see that there are three tenths in each group. So 1.2 divided by four equals 0 0.3. We can record a three above the 12 tenths in the short division calculation. If we divide the eight hundredths into four equal groups, we can see that there are two hundredths in each group. So 0 0.08 divided by four equals 0 0.02. We can record a two above the eight hundredths in the short division method. So 9.28 divided by four equals 2.32. Now it's time to take a look at another problem, but this time we're only going to use the short division method. 6.54 divided by 2. If we divide 6 ones into 2 equal groups, there are 3 ones in each group. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. We can record 3 above the 6 ones in our short division method. When we divide the 5 tenths into 2 equal groups, there are 2 tenths in each group with 1 tenth left over. So we can record a 2 above the 5 tenths. But as there's 1 left over, we need to make an exchange. 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths which we will be showing by writing a small one before the four here to represent 14 hundredths. After we have exchanged our one tenth, we now have 14 hundredths. So we can finish by dividing the 14 hundredths into two equal groups. There are seven hundredths in each group, so we can record a seven above the 14 hundredths in the short division method. So 6.54 divided by two equals 3.27. Now it's your turn. Can you solve these division questions? What strategy will you use? You could use place value counters in a place value chart, a part whole model, a short division method, or a combination of all three. Here are the answers. How did you get on? 
I hope that this video has helped you with the short division method. If you're looking for any more maths videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.